Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we are going to be taking a look at a game I've covered a little bit on the channel in previous iterations, and that game is Arms Trade Tycoon Tanks. This game is a management game, basically you run a, uh, you're, you're a military industrial complex, essentially. You run a factory that makes tanks, and you've got to meet orders and sort of pad the bottom line. Uh, while, you know, staying in the good graces of your client, your, your country, uh, who has need of armored vehicles. Now, that being said, as I said, we've taken a look at this a couple of times in the channel. Once was in like a demo and a Steam Next Fest, once was in like an alpha build. But the reason we're looking at it again today is because the game does enter early access. Well, depending on where you are right now, today, uh, it enters early access on the 6th of February. Um, and so we're going to take a look at this. It is developed by Fun Guy Games and it is published by Microprose. So let's go ahead. I think one of the things, the big things that's different from the previous iterations is they really, you know, the early access game goes all the way into the 30s. So that's pretty exciting. Um, you, you get 20 years of, uh, of tank building. I think you just build as the British initially. Uh, but I know they do have plans to add additional um, additional units to to the game or countries to the game, as well as a longer time period in the future. But that's what the early access version will be. So we're going to go ahead and start the game. We'll do it with the normal difficulty. Entrepreneur. Last time I tried this, I ran myself out of business through poor planning. So hopefully y'all can keep me in check and I don't do that again. All right, my company, my name. Hmm. Well, we're, I, I was gonna say Manfred von Butcher, but I'm not. I'm not German, alas. I don't know, something like that. Sir John Butcher, and. Uh, the company name? Not exactly the most military of names, but we can go with the butcher shop, you know? The butcher shop designs. I don't know. That's not that's not a great military military name. Oh well. Welcome, arms dealers. Arms Trade Tycoon Tanks is a little title or is a title that is currently in early access, meaning we're actively working on the game based on our roadmap and your feedback. We plan to ex uh, improve existing features, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Tank core formed. Acknowledging the importance of tanks, the high command has decided to separate all future tank regiments from the machine gun corps and assign them to a dedicated military branch with the official name, the tank core. Currently, the, there, currently the is one tank regiment under formation and you can expect a new tank contract to be announced soon enough. Okay, so that's classified. It's in the world news. Classified information. All right, so it is July 1st of 1914. If they haven't changed this yet, it's guys, World War One hasn't started yet. It's called the guns of August for a reason. But anyway, and, and tanks, likewise, not so much started. Is, is the game moving? Looks like it's on times one speed, but it's still the first, so. Oh, I think I had it on pause. Okay, that's fine. Greetings, my name is Douglas Murray, and I have been appointed your advisor by the executive board. The British High Command has declared plans to rapidly raise at least four tank regiments. We should start designing our new tank model right away and have it ready by the time the first contract is announced. Please go to the design bureau and begin the design process as soon as possible. Oh, so this is going to start off with, like, a tutorial. It's going to force me to design a tank. Got it. Okay, well, we've done this before, so. Um, create a design. We have, basically, I'm assuming we're going to have to make kind of the historical Mark One tank with a few potential variations. Would you like to create a draft of a new... What? No, just... Okay, so we've got the Mark One, Mark One. Um... You can see here, I guess it's got the little wheels behind it. Uh, 
Now, I don't, you know, these are one of the things that's always very confusing to me is like the way that this game communicates a different components. You would think looking between this item here and this item here, they are different engines. But in fact, because they have their different tabs, but in fact, this is just the Mark I version of the Daimler Knight six cylinder. So you've got the Daimler Knight six cylinder Mark I. You've got the Daimler Knight six cylinder series. So I assume I could go ahead and click here and make the Mark II potentially better as new technologies and things unfold that I could actually like do something with. But as of right now, I can't do that. So I might as well just sort of have the Daimler Mark One or six cylinder Mark One. And I don't really have anything that I've like researched right now. So this is all sort of just like, hey, go and design a new tank, but you actually haven't researched anything. So you're just going to kind of click through the items that we've already done for you, right? It's kind of strange, but. I'd rather a machine gun. Do I really need to jump in and do this? Like I've done this before. I I kind of have some idea of, I like to think I have some idea of what I'm doing. So you can put a seal here if you don't want an MG. You can put an MG if you want. And then assign crew members. Um, commander. Driver. Two gunners, two loaders. What do we need here? Do we need more gunners? Oh, I guess we probably need a machine gunner too, right? So like in theory, this, this tank is within the mass limit. The hull, just barely within the volume limit, crew limit, maxed out as well. Adequate command or driver, slightly below commander, better than needed gunner, exactly what you need in a loader, and more than what you need in mechanics. You can choose to include ammo and other things like that. Okay. I don't love that I'm kind of just designing the default that I've already got unlocked, but I also don't know how quickly they're going to be like, hey, you need to have a design. We'll name the first one after after yours truly. We've got all 30 of our engineers assigned to it. It's going to cost $15,000. We've got 800 k That's enough. That's fine. Although I'm assuming... Is that per tank? Or research. I guess it's per tank. Okay. So we're going to research this tank. It's going to take 35 days to do it. Or actually, are we already building it? I think this is the blueprint to build. I don't think we're actually in the construction window yet. I always forget. I've, I've played this a bunch of times. I just, I'm a little rusty on remembering exactly what I need to do here. Okay, so they're doing that. Can... What's 
with the, what's okay. So the global map, they've added a bunch of countries. Last time I played, basically you could only do anything with Britain. I believe there are now 20 countries you can sell your tanks and designs to now. Um, you can see the world map. Uh, battles are fought all over the world. Your tanks can fight in different parts of the world and different campaigns and things like that. Interesting when you click on these different countries, you get information about them. This is all new. So you've got like the government type of France, the political strength, the economic strength, the military strength, influence points. I don't know if that's influence that I would have over them. That's for internal politics, external politics, trade agreements, non-aggression packs, alliances, economy. Gives you quite a bit of detail there. They have no tank core at the moment. They have infantry, cavalry, and artillery in their in their army. They have an offensive doctrine. You can see the different units that they've got assigned under their command. And then there's no trophies. Germany, meanwhile, you can see different information here. Um, and they don't, I don't think they have a tank core either. Yeah. Great. I don't think the British have really have a tank core yet either. Oh, they've adopted the Vanguard tank. How does that compare to what I have? I don't remember there ever being, usually you're designing the first tank against another company. So that's going to be different. Or maybe that's just some sort of placeholder. Active military campaigns. We go to the administration screen. Reporting THG to Interpol. I have traffic nothing. I haven't even built a tank yet, Artis. All right, so we have 240 employees doing nothing on the factory floor. They cost us 24000 salary per month, maybe? Does it tell me? Yeah. Uh, we have 50 out of 90 potential engineers. We're using 30, 20, 20 are idle. We could hire up to 25 more. There's 25 available for hire. There are no administrators yet. We have no bank loans. If we were to ask for a loan, it would be 15%. Let's go to the research and development here. So the game has kind of already like snuck us along the research path that's given us some of these items already. So if you go to the, whoops, apparently your uh, WS keys move through the menus. That's, or maybe they're just hotkeys because A brings me back here. Um, but in any event, you can see we've already researched re riveted assemblies, wrought iron, rum, rum board deal hull, uh, male mark one. We could do female, which would be a machine gun. We could also reach better research, better steel. We do have the 20 engineers that are idle right now, so we can assign them to do some R and D so they can do structure work. Again, this is where you can kind of see, Hey, there's, there's structure that can be researched in here. There's also firepower research that can be done. And then there's mobility research that can be done. So those are all things to consider. We have a sleeve engine. I feel like engines are one of, in the early tanks. I feel like engines are one of the most important things to research because of how unreliable they were. Uh, Cannibal, it comes out on the sixth to early access. So this is the early access version. Um, so I'm kind of inclined to go with a twin engine. It is a lot of man hours of research, 3,100 man hours of research. We could also go with solid shot rounds. Right now, I think we only have high explosive rounds. Solid shot would be effective against enemy tanks, I assume. Or whatever, whatever common rounds are is what we have. I don't... Two kinetic penetration, 15 shock penetration, range of two. So the common shells are standard HE rounds that are, are filled with Luddite. They're fired out of this naval gun that we've already researched. Solid shot rounds have a 25 kinetic penetrator. Solid lump of steel sharpened like a shell and weighing six pounds used for penetration of lightly armored targets. So solid shot rounds would be useful versus other tanks. Tracer munitions would make our machine guns more effective. Solid shots also 3,100 man hours. What's the female Mark I? Mount two machine guns on each side. So instead of having those gun turrets on each side, we could go with machine gun. 
think it also unlocks these other components of turret door and turret hatch. Um, what about RH steel? Rolled homogenous armored is made of a single sheet of composite for hot rolled. Imperial improve its characteristics. Armor is designed for service applications that require maximum protection. Okay. That might be true, Cannibal, but in the game, I believe tank-on-tank -tank fighting occurs more frequently. 30 days on that. It's going to take us 30 days on the tank to begin with. Problem is, if I research a new engine, then everything I'm doing with the tank research is kind of thrown away, right? Like, there's no, there's no value there. I can probably make a slight alteration to the existing tank and add more ammo with solid shot rounds. I would think that feels logical. I don't really know if that's how it works, but let's go ahead and do that. So we'll do solid shot. So we're researching solid shot now. All right, so we'll go back out to the factory ground here. And I kind of skipped ahead of things, guys. Sorry about that. So this is the main factory ground. This is kind of, I guess, the main, the menu screen, if you will. Research Bureau here is where our engineers are working on the new ammunition. Design Bureau over here is where our folks are working on designing the Butcher Mark I, the new tank. Engineering Bureau, this would be an, an, a location where we can obviously like manage our engineers. Each one of these buildings, by the way, you can hire administrators. We have none available to hire right now, but those are the guys who basically improve the efficiency of a given building. Um, you can also have different sort of add-ons to your facilities. So you could build like an ergonomics office, which improves execution tasks or breakthrough bureau, which discovers out of ordinary answers to commonplace engineering challenges. So like research bonuses, hull bonuses, power plant so engine bonuses turret bonuses all those kind of things within the engineering bureau um, just your typical tycoon game in that sense the research bureau you can do similar things here outside of just the engineering stuff but like in terms of material component analytics those kind of things um, and then you've also got a production hall here where you, different buildings obviously help you build things more quickly we don't have anything to build right now so but anyway, this is where the sort of the magic happens, where the uh, tank is assembled. Warehouses, I'm assuming where we store all of our goods and things like that, that we need to build stuff. Also, I'm, does naval freight? Dedicated dock for receiving naval freight and contributing to the speed of deliveries and dispatched items. Neat. I don't remember there being any naval stuff. I remember there being rail cars and stuff like that to transport stuff. Um, and then you've also got administration, which is sort of like you know, bureaucratic corporate headquarters. Museum, I don't really know what that's for. I guess maybe it just shows the tanks you've made in the past. And then you've got the, the proving grounds where your tank can actually like do stuff in terms of trials and things like that. Most of those are things that are up here. So you could do test drive where you test drive your new tank. You can go ahead and do the proving grounds, factory trials, warehouse, warehouse resource storage, production. Um, achievements, news. I don't think there's any news other than what we already saw. Contract center. Currently, there are no available contracts. We'll have a look at that in a little bit. Um... We're building a prototype, I believe. Do I need to buy more material? That's the other thing that's always tricky is like, how much do I actually need? I don't even have a design yet. But you can buy different materials from different places in the world. So you can buy, you know, from Oceania, Europe, Asia, Middle East, Africa, America. You can also sell excess material if you have it. Um, you can see the price over here on the right. It does differ. You can see like medium carbon steel is five in the Middle East. It is three in, or four in Asia. It is three in Oceania. So like if you were to, if you were to place an order, those are, those are things that are factored in. Now, I believe each region has a different shipping length. So Europe, for example, 
Medium reliability shipping takes seven days. Europe, high reliability shipping takes three days. So those are things to consider as well. But again, the price price kind of factors things in also. So U.S. is, I'm assuming U.S. is way cheap due to its industrial power. It looks like it's considerably cheaper on carbon steel, rubber. No difference on high carbon steel, interestingly enough. Glass is cheaper in the U.S., North America anyway. Um, but it takes 27 days, I believe, to get to you. So, you know, those are all those are all different things that you need to consider. Did we see what our design, that it kind of just made me click through? Did we see what it's going to take to build? So iron, medium carbon steel, high carbon steel, glass. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and purchase just a little bit. I'm going to buy from the U.S. because I think in general it's going to be cheaper than buying from Europe. Certainly not more expensive. We've got 23,000 available iron. Let's go ahead and order 5,000. Uh, we'll also, oh wait, no, that's not available. That's available on the market. We've got three, th we've got 30,000 iron right now. So if we buy 5,000 of that, we've got 5,000 medium carbon steel. So if we buy 5,000 of that, I'm just curious what 5,000 of everything will cost me basically. Where's the high carbon steel? We'll just do 3,000 of that. That's a more, a rare, more expensive item. Did we skip rubber? Is that not? Oh, I'm doing rubber now. I'm, I'm mixing the two up. Okay. And so if we were to do all of this, it would take $73,000, of which we have 800000 Why does it say it's low reliability? It says hi right there. Anyway, whatever. I'm not too worried right now. Let's go ahead and place the order. If it gets delayed, it gets delayed. I should have the resources for the initial build. And I think we'll just go to the factory grounds and we'll wait to see what happens. That way we'll have a little bit of surplus stuff. Finally, early success of tanks on the battlefield. What battlefield? There's no war. Make sure to invest in your manufacturing command. I don't have any demand yet. I mean, we could go to the factory floor. Improve production process by breaking the entire manufacturing cycle into small pieces. 30,000. So 5,000 maintenance cost. I'm gonna get in over over my hat, aren't I? But it improves, reduces man hours per tank by fifteen percent. So we'll do that. We don't even have any contracts yet. We don't even have a tank yet. You can see the the length of time for all these items is counting down here next to the actual production hall. So the expansion of the production hall fifty six days away. Warehouse goods arrive in 19 days. Design Bureau finishing its work in 27 days. Don't forget to invest in new component development and modification if you haven't already. Stop by Research Bureau to start a new research project. Haven't I already done that? Are we already working on that? Yeah, we got 12 days left. We're already doing that. 
but thank you for the advice. No coffee. This is, I don't, this is not a port of anything. It's a game that doesn't exist yet. All right. The following recent government announcements, we should increase our production capacity in order to be ready to mass produce our tanks. Stop by the production hall and begin building the sub sub assembly line and riveting workshop. Okay, so I already did the sub-assembly line. Where's the riveting... Riveting hull? Can I build both at the same time? Looks like I can. It comes into early access on the 6th. Previously, it's only been available as a demo. We're increasing our operations and the risk of fire is growing is more significant. Visit the administration quarter to construct a fire department. So again, it's kind of walking you through all of this stuff to be like, hey, these are things you might want to consider and start spending all your money. So it's very much hand holding you through the early part, part of the game. But I actually think that's a good thing, frankly. There's a lot, and I don't mean this is a criticism necessarily, but there's a lot in the UI that like, if you didn't already know what you're doing, you wouldn't necessarily know what to do so for them to kind of explain some of this in handholdy ways i think that makes sense the holt manufacturing companies the war begins nations struggle to send supplies to the front and machine gun nests become a significant problem okay does that mean there's a competitor now There's no contracts yet, right? Yeah. All right, so solid shot research is completed. So if we go back to the research bureau. So solid shot is done. I don't want to waste time. Like we should continue working on, on research for. Improving our designs. Improved high pass running. What, what does this do? Okay. So the Whippet would be an interesting track design for open terrain, less well suited to trench areas. I really think getting a better engine is, is a good idea. Okay. Can I not do this yet? It requires me to develop that machinery. All right. So what is the, the general is. Is this only a light tank? How's this compare? Okay. Hmm. 
I guess we'll do this one. Better engine tech, I think, is important for better tanks. Now, it's kind of silly because the game's already told us to research a tank, like, right out of the gate. So I'm researching it, and now I'm already developing, like, new tech. Engineering can research new components. I don't know that I have anything to research at the moment. Because the only research we did was shell type. Yeah, nothing yet, I don't think. So... Yeah, gun ammo isn't on here. Okay, so nothing to do there quite yet. All right, so our resources have arrived. They arrived without incident. That's nice. I don't need to do anything else with that. You can just see the resource numbers went up on the top of the screen here, so we'll have more available to us. I need to... William Tritton is available for hire. Your company's reputation is increasing as a result. A new top executive is offered his services. Predicted balance. What? Don't forget to visit the Engineering Bureau to oversee in-person creation of new tank components from the blueprints. Good night. Yeah, I don't have anything to do here. As far as I'm aware. Unless I'm just totally missing this, but I, I don't think there's anything to do here. Could do this. It's more weight. Ricochet sure goes up. So instead of sort of the rounded magazine for the MG in the turret, we'd go with a belt fed, I guess. I don't think I have any staff to do that work yet, though. So let's. Do you have to assign a model to the list on the right? I don't know. All right, the design is complete. It's probably going to want me to build build a prototype, maybe. Oh, wait, we actually already have a prototype, don't we? That's what we just built. So it cost me $17,000 to do the tank trials. Let's do it. It's expensive, but it's useful to know like where the flaws and issues are in the design so we can possibly correct them in future designs. Have you ever tried driving your own tank? If you haven't already, go to the test drive and give it a shot. It's a one-of-a-kind experience. Okay, so I'll admit this is a thing I was... It costs you money to do it? 
Do I get reputation if I do it? The tank gains reputation. Okay, let's do it. This is not something like, I don't know that in a tank tycoon game, like, yeah, driving your tank is the reason that you want to, like, I don't know. I don't know that that's as important, but if it, if it helps me. One, one of a kind. I don't know that Call of Duty exists yet, but yeah, I hear your point. So we have to get 300 points on the Proving Ground, and it'll help the fame of our tank, which I'm assuming will help the, uh, you know, army in selecting us versus other people. Slow and furious. At some point, there's going to be some targets for us to shoot at. Right now, it's just sort of the drive around bit. How do I... No, that's not what I want. Oh. Whatever. Go up on top of this thing. We got eight minutes. We got eight minutes. We're good. Moves like a fish. So I'm going to have to switch back, I think, to uh, my guns. Not that using a six-pound naval cannon on these targets is necessarily terribly efficient, but... Can we shoot while moving? Probably. Should we? Probably not. Alright, we got them. We got some bad guys. Oh, she turns. Not so great. I do like that pivoting, though. Don't gotta move forward, just... Pivot the treads. Can I go over these wood logs? Stopped! Oh, we got eight minutes. We gotta get another 125 points. We should do that. Look at, look at how fast and response. I, I kind of get the sense they added this to the game because of the... I don't know if any of you guys played Sprocket, which was, like, out there on Steam last, last year, I think it was, where it was like, oh, it's this sort of Kerbal Space Program Manager tank designer kind of a game. Uh, maybe Kerbal Space Program Manager on a budget, but um, it was interesting, but I don't, like, it wasn't It wasn't trying to be a tycoon game. It wasn't trying to be like, hey, here you go, like, run a company. It was more of just, like, design a tank and then do stuff with it. So, it, to me, I wonder if they saw that and they're like, we should do this. Oh my god, can you... And I don't know that I agree with that, but... Machine got him! Alright. It's a German tank that hasn't been designed yet, but somehow we have a good mock-up for it. Where am I going now? Oh, you gotta be kidding. I can't go over a tiny little branch. I'm gonna guess I'm supposed to follow this. Trail, there's a little sign of where we need to go. That engine sounds like it's just maxed. Max, maxed revolutions. Like a burning fire through the trenches that don't exist in real life yet. Oh, come on. Am I stuck? Come on. What am I stuck on? It's just like a... This... Isn't even a trench! Oh my god.
Yay. Yeah, the test driving is not great. The weakest part of the game, test driving. Kind of silly. Not something I would have added to a tycoon game, but... Can you not drop the gun down? Just run them over. Does that count? No. Running over doesn't count. Bastard. There we go. Got him. Uh... We got four more minutes. I need 75 more points. Well, I don't even think they should have test driving Santos. I think that's, if I was designing this game, it's a tycoon game. I wouldn't, there's no need to drive your tank. It just is not what this game is trying to be about. This game is trying to be a tank. You know, you're supposed to be running a tank factory, designing tanks. There's literally no reason for you to drive your tank. Just give a little report at the end. Be like, it's good at this. It's bad at this. Because it kind of interrupts the whole flow of the game too, right? Like you're doing usual tycoon stuff, buying material, hiring people, designing stuff. And now it's like, now go spend, you know, 15 minutes driving around. I get maybe that's something people want to do, but... Not this person. Got him. All right. We should get our 300 points once I hit, hit this next checkpoint. 14 out of 15 waypoints. 14 out of 24 soft targets. Three out of four hard targets. It's also kind of a silly metric because we didn't miss those 10 soft targets as far as I don't think we did. I think through the soft targets to my right, it just like automatically ended, uh, ended the trial. Once we hit the, the point total success and attack will greatly depend on method methodological and punctual deployment deployment phase plus 20 repair plays plus five. So I don't know if that's like a card you can use in, in war. Okay. So production hall, why does it say one? Let's make sure we can build this thing too, right? Um, so it's not a very, not a great tank. All right, extra power loss mass limit. How do you fix the issues? Do I go back to the factory ground? We go back to the design bureau. Do I fix them here? Is there a way to fix them? Please conduct factory trials at the proving grounds. I did. Do I have to wait a day? All right, twin engines also done. What do you mean? Please conduct factory trials at the proving ground before addressing design flaws. I did do that. Factory trials at the proving grounds. Oh, the test drive didn't count. Okay. So I got to wait the 21 days. Gotcha. Makes a little sense, I guess. So again, that's the whole, like, why did I bother doing the test drive? Alternatively, we could be like, hey, we're going to start building these things and build 20 of them now so that we've got ahead of the game on the production. 
But that's a risk because if you don't win the contract, then you're stuck with the tanks and all the money you spent building them too. So something to consider. Uh, if we want to build 20 of them, it'll take 17,000 iron, of which we've got 35,000. It'll take 13,000 medium carbon steel, of which we've got 30,000. It'll take 4,400 rubber, which we've got 12,000. 48 high carbon, we've got 20. Glass, 460, we've got 3K. So we're well sufficient, I think, of any likely order quantity at the moment. Yeah, we got to wait the 21 days for the Proving Ground to finish its thing before we can address design flaws, which we probably should address the design flaws before we start trying to sell it. You know, unless we want to rename it the F-35. Uh, according to trustworthy sources, the William Foster Company has just completed a new design of the Vanguard tank, codenamed Hector-1. Okay, so we got competition. Sell the bad tanks to the Germans. I don't think it works that way. Could be wrong on that one, but I don't think it works that way. Company appears to be doing well, but you need to delegate parts of your burden to assume some capable top executives. Don't forget to check the available managers in the administrator here office. Okay, so there's one available administrator. He's William Triton. He is available. Optimal production and warehouse. He gives you a 30% assembly focus, reduces the man hours required to build a tank, uh, increases the ability, I guess, the number of workers per assembly line, decreases tank delivery time, reduction of resource delivery time, 3,500 salary. So we will hire him. He'll arrive in five days. And then we will assign him to the factory to make sure that when we do turn and start producing these things, they're produced more quickly. Alternatively, if we needed warehouse stuff quickly, we could assign him to the warehouse um, because he does speed things up there. But for the moment, I don't think that's necessary. We could also try and hire more workers for the assembly line, but think that's a little premature i don't need to take on a bunch more labor meanwhile the riveting hall is completed we get this little circling around of it plus 10 riveting hall good job boys the uh sub assembly line will be done in 11 days did i also say i needed a cutting hall what does this do I don't know what it means by required for production of all tank components. So I, do I need to build this? Yeah, I know the new engine requires milling. I don't have a design for it yet though, so. Can I build, let's just say, I, let's, maybe we test and build one. Man, it looks like I can build it without. All right, the administrator arrived. We'll assign him to the factory floor. So yeah, it looks like the tank's being built without me needing any new buildings. Holt and Haunt Hornsby tractors studied. The British Army is enacting a study of tractor design. Okay. So these are just sort of historical flavor notes. It doesn't seem so far to play any role in the actual game. Proving grounds will be done in three days, so we can go ahead and update the design. So we'll go to the design bureau. The money is running out real fast. We really need a contract.
Okay, so let's do this. Um, crew awareness, improve that. Amend the defect to reduce the penalty. Cost $2,500. So one thing I don't entirely love is this idea of, oh, there's defects, just go and fix it. For some things, I think that makes sense. For others, it's kind of like, well, you're not actually doing anything with the design, so like you're just, you're theoretically changing the design flaws, but you're not really, like, I'm not modifying the actual tank at all. It's just sort of little teeny tinky talk things that don't matter, I guess. Most of the stuff's fairly cheap. I wonder if we can just do all of them. No, you got to do them one at a time. I don't see a button to actually. There might be a button somewhere. I'm not seeing it though. Would this do it? No. Like it just kind of seems to add clicks where there's really not a need for them. Right. Improve the inner, the motor and running gear and power unit. Okay. Do I, I don't actually have to save anything though, right? Like it's just, it automatically did it. Can I add AP? How? Okay. So I can't, it doesn't look like it lets me add the new rounds yet. Do I need to go to... It seems silly that to add more ammo I'd have to redesign the ship. But I suppose that's what I have to do. I don't know if the ammo is worth doing it by itself. No, I don't need to add another storage compartment. That's not the issue. I basically need to... create a new tank design. So make it the Mark II, for example. Which I don't think I've got enough stuff researched to warrant doing that. So we'll hold off on that for now. Meanwhile, no one's actually researching anything. I forgot we completed our research on the new engine. So we should do some more research. We got the new engine. We've got the new solid shot. Um... Is this better than the old machine gun? Yeah. Um, we get better steel, which will make the tank more resilient. Actually, we did the better engine. Let's do better, better gears. Can you research multiple things at the same time? Doesn't look like it. I'm assuming I can expand to have more than one research line where you can do that, but at least right now it doesn't look like I can do that. Yeah. Down here it's locked, but you can expand the factory at a later date. Um, all right. 
Let's go. Are we going to actually get an order here? Because my finances aren't looking pretty. Uh, Sub-assembly line built. Nice. Do I have to wait for it to keep stop spinning? So we have one tank in storage, I think. Yep. One butcher mark one. I'd be tempted to build more just so we've got a head start on the contract, but I am a little nervous of doing that. Just because like, it's a considerable commitment of expenses and resources to do that. And we don't even know if we won the contract. Like if we lose the contract, it's a rapid way to go bankrupt, right? So that research is done. So high pass gear is done. What is this? Octane 47 higher quality fuel. Okay. It blows up more. Less safe. It goes to 1914 to 1934 in the initial early access release Kia. Give me the better fuel and better performance. Eventually, Kia, it'll, I believe it'll go to modern day. The graphics for the tank certainly would imply that it will. All right, administration, firehouse built. Yeah, higher octane, more power. And bigger explosion. Displosion. Right, no reason to have that administrator on that particular building since it's not doing anything. Might as well assign our one administrator to the one building doing stuff. I'm just waiting for a contract to come in, which I'm assuming will come in before too long, but... Just waiting. It is September of 1914, so in theory the war should be underway. I don't know if it actually is. So if we go back to the contract, let's say we speed things, oops, not that. Let's see, we speed the delivery along to say December 1st. Okay. Doesn't, still doesn't really get me into the game. Still doesn't really get me into the game. Fuck. So I really should have been fiddling around with my design in the initial... But guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up here. This is going to be the end of our first look at Arms Trade Tycoon Tanks, the early access version of the game, which comes out on Steam today. Uh, if you are interested, check the link in the description. and It'll take you over there. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, this is a first look, a first take. I've played the game a fair bit, so I didn't see the need to go in and run a tutorial. But uh, some things have changed around since the last time I played, so... This video wasn't perfect, um, but uh, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. We will figure out how to win this contract next time around. My design is obviously just like, hey, click through and you're done. That's not what future designs will look like, but that's kind of what it felt like I, I needed to do because the game was encouraging me to design something and go, um, but uh, what, whatever. Anyway, we'll see how this plays out in our next episode until our next episode. This is the Historical Gamer saying thank you for watching. And until next time, I'm out.